Jerry, good to see you again. It's good to be here. Always a delight to have you here on Health Thank Connection. You. Pneumonia and the vaccine clearing up the confusion, the title of this segment. Let's start with just as basic as we can get. What is pneumonia and how serious a disease is it? N pneumonia is, is an inflammation or an infection primarily of the lungs or the, the tracheal bronchial tree. Uh, it can be as mild as walking pneumonia to where it, you're able to do your no or, uh, normal activities of daily living and it can be extremely serious and, and fatal. Jim Henson, creator of the Muppets, died of pneumonia as healthy as he was. What are the symptoms? What are we looking for? It usually starts off at a very rapid onset, uh, fever, chills, uh, cough, congestion. You may have uh, what we call rhinorrhea, runny nose, uh, and progresses on to uh, general malaise to where it just lays you down completely. Uh, symptoms may last for four to six weeks after you've actually cleared the pneumonia. Uh, one of the things that we try to do with an individual that's been diagnosed with pneumonia is to get serial chest x-rays to make sure that the disease is clearing. You touched on this, but let's put a little uh, more color on it. Is there a difference, are there different pneumonias? And what is it that we commonly call a walking pneumonia? Oh, there, there are different pneumonias. Pneumonia can be caused by bacteria, it can be caused by a virus, it can be caused by a fungus. Uh, the, the pneumovax or the, the pneumonia injections that we use primarily are against the, the pneumonia or the bacterial pneumonia. Uh, walking pneumonia is a very mild form of pneumonia. You're still able to do activities of daily living. You may have a, uh, a very mild temperature. You may have some muscle aches and pains and a cough and congestion, but it doesn't normally put you to bed the way that uh, pneumonia or invasive pneumonia may do. And that can be progressive. Some of the symptoms of that are shortness of breath, cough, uh, along with the other symptoms we discussed. Let's clear up some confusion. That's the, actually the title of the segment. Let's talk about vaccinations. When should children be vaccinated for pneumonia? Generally starting about two months of age. Uh, there's a series of uh, four different vaccinations. They use the polysaccharide or the pneumonia uh, conjugate 13, which is, uh, uh, has coverage against 13 different serotypes of, of pneumonia. Uh, and Generally, by the age of five, they should have received all four of the, the immunizations. What about adults? When and how often should they get a pneumonia vaccination? Everyone greater than age 65 should be immunized for pneumonia. Uh, between age 18 and 65, we start looking at the individual. What type of comorbidities, what other kind of conditions do they have? Individuals with diabetes, with lung disease, uh, anything that uh, may immunocompromise uh, the body, we try to immunize with, uh, with pneumonia. You touched on this. There's more than one pneumonia vaccine. There's actually two pneumonia vaccines that are approved at this time. Uh, one is the uh, PCV uh, 13, which is against thir uh, 13 different serotypes. And then there's the uh, pneumonia polysaccharide vaccine, which is uh, 23 different serotypes. Uh, generally, the PCV 13 is used in the younger patients uh, the, the 23 is used in adults. However, those that are immunocompromised may also get the PCV13 uh, immunization. So how do you know which one you've had and which one you need to get? Uh, you need to talk to your uh, health care provider. Uh, generally in, in adults, uh, they're going to receive the, uh, uh, the polysaccharide 23 uh, unless there are immunocompromised and they'll receive the 13. Kids again are going to get generally the uh, PCV13 immunization. So how effective are these vaccines? Generally very effective. Uh, some of the early studies showed 90% uh, uh, of the individuals uh, receiving the immunization uh, were covered against pneumonia. The PCV13 against invasive pneumonia uh, is about 85% effective. Against pneumonia itself about 45% effective. In other words, 45% of the individuals uh, will be covered the rest may get a form of pneumonia, but if they do, it will be a very mild case, which will clear without difficulty. The PCV, or excuse me, the PSS, or PPS uh, 23 is anywhere from 50 to 85 percent effective. Side effects, children and adults, what about them? Less than one percent of the individuals that receive the immunization uh, will have a, uh, some sort of a side effect. Uh, generally, it's going to maybe a sore arm. They may have a small temperature. Uh, Myalgias are, you know, body aches and pains. Uh, the more invasive type or the, the, the more critical 
uh, is if there's a, an anaphylactic reaction where an individual may be allergic to a component in the vaccine. And they may have, you know, again, uh, difficulty breathing. There may be fever chills uh, and require medical emergency. But that's not common. Very, very rare. All right. Some people at higher risk for getting pneumonia than others? Seems like an obvious question. Let's talk about it. They are at higher risk. Uh, you know, individuals that uh, have an immunocompromised, those with diabetes, uh, co uh, coronary artery disease, uh, any type of cancer uh, are at higher risk. Smokers are a much higher risk of, of developing pneumonia than, uh, than the general population. I'm a common sense guy, so are you. Common <laughs> sense steps to avoid getting pneumonia. Jet, you know, first of all, become immunized. Uh, it, it's one of your best protections against, uh, against pneumonia. The other is good hand washing. Um, if you smoke, stop. Uh, if you're around someone that uh, is showing signs, symptoms of an upper respiratory infection, again, the common sense things of protecting yourself of hand washing. Very well. Jerry, always a pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure, sir.